All right, my lovelies, we are back again with another one. All right, boo. Now let's tap into these cards again. I'm still on the same card, y'all. I'm liking these cards. Now, because they're uncovering a lot of stuff. Now, I was sitting up here looking at Bro Sanchez talking about um, Diddy, him and Bobby Knight. Oh, my goodness. That, I'm talking about that boy is just uh, spilling all the tea. You know, when you um, follow the rap industry and all that stuff like that right there, all these years, and they start tying that stuff together. When I tell you they is lifting the veil over there. So let me hurry up and do this so I can go back. Because I know the stream going to be about 10 hours. I might have to do it in uh, parts. <laughs> That's just how good they be, y'all. Them thang on thang belong. Bro Sanchez, y'all know who he is. If you don't know, you need to go find out. All right. Let me hurry up so I can go finish listening to them. They uncovering so much tea. All right. Now, let's see. Now, we got heel coming out today. And that's what you're doing. Healing. Alright, Spirit, give us two more dollars, please. Thank you. And you have discomfort. Now, I must say that the healing process can be very discomforting. Now, this says debilitated. We got to definitely read what that's talking about. It just gives me um, disembobulated. <laughs> disembobulated. Now, listen, that doesn't necessarily have to be your interview. Remember that. It always can go to the opposite posi position or the opposite side, the negative energy. But we're going to find out. All right, Spirit, one more, please. Thank you. And we got the sun after that. Now, you know I love it. Now, you have 28, 14, and 18 coming out here. And at the bottom of the deck is nurture. Now that's 29 and this is 28. However, you know what? It, it just came to my mind right now. The pull from these three, these cards right here. The mermaid cards, we're going to put them right here. And now it's going to tell me something about the tarot. Now these is the mermaid cards and they're all about your emotions for the most part. And you have move forward. That's the first card coming out. And abundance is showing up. Now this, as long as you keep moving forward, boo, you're getting closer and closer to your abundance. Your healing process. Now this one hit the, and you have mystery. Now, mystery keeps showing up and magic. Wow. Listen. That's why Spirit told me to pull from it. Now, at the bottom of the deck is support. Now, if you're new to this channel, I always see this support system as kind of shady. Look at how they look. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. Let's look at the way this one looking. Like, girl. <laughs> Mm-mm. But let's see. Let's find out what's going on. Now, what cards do I actually want to pull from? Now, this is heal, discomfort, and source. Let's 
think it's a it's a job for uh I believe in your own magic. I think I'm gonna pull a couple. Cause I wanna give y'all a little bit of time today. Cause I can always uh watch Bro Sanchez on a Saturday or Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Now this is telling you to weave together the crown that you deserve. Right here on here and move forward. But we're going to read out what these cards mean. The ones on the table, I mean. On my little desk. Alright, give us two. Oh, let me say thank you for all the um, suggestions in regards to my little uh, salmon patties. <laughs> I was actually thinking about putting some celery in it. Child, y'all listen, I love some celery. And uh, somebody actually told me to uh, eat some uh, chocolate covered bacon. And now I probably would have tried it if I still ate meat, but I don't eat meat, only fish. But I actually thought about putting bacon on tuna fish when I ate bacon. Now that sounded good in my mind. I ain't never do it though. However, this is telling you don't be afraid to sing with discomfort. Now, every time I hear don't be afraid to sing, I get sing like a canary. Even though it's telling you to utilize your voice. You know, your expression. But I do get that. I don't know why. But now we have um, 14 and 14 down here twice. Now, 14 could be a significant date. Something might happen on the 14. Who knows? You know? Birthday could be the 14. Any month, doesn't matter. And you have, how's that about, how's that for a happily ever after? Right here on the sun card, which is 18, which is giving me 9 9. Now I need a couple more cards. And I'm trying to see which ones that I can actually pull from. I think it's a it's a job for uh maybe I'll do these. I think we um can pull what I need from the tarot. I'm going to pull these, I think. It was three. All right, we got two coming out. And you have compassion and authority coming out here. 14, 15, 10, 10. Now, this authority is really, uh, wait a minute, I'm going to read it out. Wait a minute, wait a minute. And you have the sacred chakra right here on the sun card. And this is all about your ebb and flow. Mind, body, and soul. And change is at the bottom of the deck. Mm -mm. And forgive is at the bottom of this one. 
Now you can be saying 10, 10 to a lot. But let me see something. Oh, before I move on. All right, we got a death and a rebirth. Right here on mystery. Now, anytime I see the death card, I always see it um, spiritual ascension. Even though it could be the ending and beginnings of many other things. But let me say something really quickly. And on the split, sometimes this thing finds its way and turns itself upside down. Because I actually didn't put it in the deck like this. I made sure they all face down. However, sometimes it turns itself upside down like this. And it looks like you're about to have some type of epiphany moment. Some type of light bulb is coming off to help you out of something. Now that could have something to do with that mystery. This magic. Listen, all cards is pouring forward. Now, what is this discomfort? Let me see something. This time you are the invaluable sidekick. This is not your game. But you have a lot to contribute nonetheless. And the long-term benefits will be worth your efforts. Learn and listen rather than assert yourself and your opinion. Use your strengths and leadership skills to support and center another person or project. Pass the ball to someone who is in position to run, run with it. Back up a leader, do the work behind the scenes, and bolster the team. And right here is authority. Hmm. However, we got don't be afraid to sing. Huh. Now, let me read the challenge. However, it's telling you to stay here and you can grow needed skills. Expand your um repertoire and context and build up trust among others who can help you in your future everything you learn all contracts may make all contacts you make prepare you for when you when it's your turn now you might be growing something now this could just be those growing pains and um that authority could just be your connection with the universe However, you could be learning from um, other people that's uh, helping you to gain more strength, skills, understanding, knowledge. You know? Soon it will be your turn. Now, the um, hangman in the reverse... This is actually the, telling you that you're going to have some type of light bulb moment. Now, I do think that this is going to happen rather soon. Because it do look like you're in some type of healing process. The phoenix rising from the fire. And you got change at the bottom of the deck. Now that's something that you may be nurturing and preparing yourself for. Let me see. Let me read the channel. This is interesting. Wait a minute. Where I'm at? 14. We definitely have authority here. Soon the student be become the teacher. <laughs> now it says, whether you're an artist among the engineer or a linebacker among the um, billionaire, 
ballerinas. Dang, I don't know where I get a billionaire from. But anyway, y'all, sorry. You may struggle to apply your talents in this situation. In these moments, it's easy to um, slip into self-pity and self-doubt. Now, that's the challenge. Now, the gift is you are being challenged to grow in ways you can't predict. You are being asked to um, diversify, stretch, and strengthen your weak muscles. Only you can decide if it's time to take that challenge. But this experience, is, this experience also encourages you to love yourself in the quiet moments and appreciate what you bring to the table even when nobody notices. That's why I'm telling you don't be afraid to say it. Now, I don't think that um, it's asking you to stop whatever you're doing, but continue to grow and learn from people that have more experience. You know? Now, I think that's for everybody. Listen, you can always, even if you're the smartest person in the room, you need to go find another room with somebody smarter than you. You understand what I'm saying? Or maybe that's what it's telling you to do. You know what I'm saying? Learn a little bit more. Mm -hmm. yeah. But we'll see what the um, tarot is talking about. Now maybe you already did all these things. Because this is like kind of right here. You can look at this as past, present, future. This middle card. It's like, right, what's going on now? But this is, what's next? And this is the sacral. It do look like something coming into balance. Now, this is all about your mind, body, soul, and even your um, sexual relationships, intimate connections, and things of that nature. You know, sometimes we need, you know, an outside view in regards to um, how we interact in relationships. Ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of therapy, y'all. You know? Yeah. It all depends on what situation your past was like. You understand? Everybody goes through different things. So I don't know. And I can't, and I have to stop taking people's situations so lightly. Because I don't know what went on. But let's see. Now this authority and this discomfort can again be your connection with spirit, the universe, the divine. I know for me, personally, it's something totally different. Because, just like I told y'all a long time ago, I have tried to study every religion out there known to man. You know, not never committing to any. Listen, just trying to understand and find my place. But it wasn't until I was told and directed to go within and stop seeking things outside of myself that I will find what I need. The answers are within you. And it's to love you. I keep telling you that. And all that discomfort that you feel is trying to teach you something. It's telling you to pay attention to your emotions. It's like when you touch a hot stove. You know not to touch it no more, right? You know, your mom can hit you on the hand all the time, but you still gonna go at that stove, right? Until you touch it. Then you gonna know not to touch it no damn mom. <laughs> now, I'm not telling y'all to let the baby burn his fingers now. You know what I'm talking about. Now here you go, working on yourself, healing. 
Right here with compassion, you showing yourself. Yeah, you're going to shock your own little self. Look at you. You're going to be like, did I really do that? This is you looking at your past. Realizing how it would look. I ain't going to say that. <laughs> this is you taking charge with authority. Now, all this stuff that you learn is going to make you a great teacher. Show your, your babies and your little boom bottles and all your little nephews and nieces and all that. Don't you go out there and do that. Then again, you gotta let someone learn the hard way. Just like you did. <laughs> Shoot. Shoot. As a child, I look back. This is how I look back on my past. I, did, I, did I really do that? <laughs> did, did I did I really do that? But you're moving, grooving. You're moving and you're grooving, boo. You're moving. <laughs> Shoot. That's right. Yeah, discomfort. It's coming into balance, boo. Now, it could be a little bit of discomfort because somebody might be mimicking you. Showing you who you really are. You know, a little tip for tap maybe going on here. Yeah. That's just you paying attention, doing that reflection work. Hmm. But it looks like it's coming into balance. Look at you. Grown on up. Yeah, look at you. Standing in your truth. Need to laugh a little bit more. Laugh at yourself. Shoot, I do it all the time. Sure, listen, I'll be like, God darn it. <laughs> With a dummy. <laughs> Make me mad sometimes when I think about it, y'all. <laughs> You <laughs> make me so mad sometimes. I'm like, woo! <laughs> you big dummy. Like, like, what his name? Snap for the sun. Call his son, you, you big dummy. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, here, discomfort. Right here. With authority. Now, it could be something going on actually in the job. Could be a little something going on. Yeah, it could have something to do with this support system right here. I told you there is some shady people. Look at them. Look at this one. And this one ain't even paying no attention. Look. They're like, y'all, come on. Yeah, look at her. She got like she got her nose turned up. She, she made, she made me, this made me think of, uh, what's the name of the show? Sisters. The, the one right there. <laughs> yeah, I think you're going to separate yourself from them. Yeah. Look at the difference. You see the difference? I don't know why somebody made this card like that. Talking about support. If I had a support system that looked like that, I'd be running. Yeah, it looked like you about to find out something, boo. Now, you might be recognized for something. I'm just looking at recognition. Some change is coming. You look like you're moving forward. Look like you're attaining a lot of information. Look at that. Look at that. A little surprise coming your way. Something going on. You might be ready. look like you're healing, you're dealing, and you're working on yourself, your little craft, whatever it is, whatever you're working on, whether that be you or something else that you're trying to learn, 
from somebody else or uh, this experience itself and go like you're getting it together look at you you don't have the last laugh look at you I got all them swords you done learned all that stuff now you gonna run with the ball you gonna run with the ball yeah that's them right there teaching you the tricks of the trade Mm-hmm. This person got a little bit of wisdom. But look at you. Gaining your little wings and stuff like that. You gonna shock yourself. You gonna say, this is all I had to do. Look. Look at that. It took you a little while. You might, your new boo might got gray hair, but listen, he in shape. <laughs> Chiron. What is Chiron? It's making me want to look that up. I don't know if it's necessarily going to tell me what Chiron actually is in the book. But let's see. Let me look it up on here. A greater healer. Astrologer, respected oracle, Chiron was said to be the first among Centaurus or Taurus and highly revered as a teacher and tutor. Now, it made me uh, look up that. Now, this card just simply says healer, heal. And I just told you, you was going to be a great teacher. And it made me look this up. And I don't think the book was going to tell me that. But let's see what it's going to say. I just want to just see. Let me see. Let me see. Now, this is telling you the action part says, um, let me see. I can refer it as the wounded healer archetype name. I'm just trying to tell you a little something, but it don't say he was a teacher, does it? It said healer, but anyway. Now, the action says, find purpose in your problems. Hard-earned wisdom is now relevant and needed. And it says, you don't have to assign casualty. You may never know why you went through the difficult times, but you can put what you learned from it to good use. Even if you never quite heal in this place of karmic tenderness, you have the wisdom to pass on once you metabolize the information I told you. You can't make it up. Right here with authority and don't be afraid to say. Now maybe it's just time. I keep telling somebody it's time. And maybe it's these foods that you need to provide some support to. Because they look like they need help, boo. Especially the one ain't paying no attention. The one of them might act like they look like they think they too good for it. But child, these two right here on the side. <laughs> Especially this. <laughs> oh, goodness. Look, oh, Spirit say, look at the book. Yeah. You got enough information. This time. Yeah, look. Ten yeah. That's a lot. Right, your hard work is paying off. Putting it to good use. They go to the sun again. Right there with the sun, right there. That's what we on the sun. In balance. There you go. Teaching people how to come up out the code and tap into their power, their magic. Moving forward. Look at you. Yeah, look at all those majors. Yeah. I'm talking to a teacher. The student is becoming the master. That's why we seen 22, 33, and 44 in the last week. Now, everybody is at a different place in this thing, so 
Soon it will be your time too. But some of y'all out there is ready. Some of y'all is ready. Look at you. And this is the same card. That's what this means. That's the Phoenix. How's that for a happy ever after? 999 with the wheel. And we didn't get the Nine of Swords either. Y'all good ones. With the Ace. Which is this. Turning into that. Yeah. Look at you. You're doing it, boo. You're doing it. You're moving and you're grooving and you're doing it. You're just doing it. Yeah, look at you. Tickle. Dick. Look. Look. Right next to that. That's that light bulb moment that we was talking about. Right there on the sun and the solar plexus chakra. And the happily ever after. Look at that. And I woke up, you got your crown all together and things like that. Look at you with the high Yeah. Look at that. Right next to it. I'm going to get you a little page too, boo. Now, as long as steady wins the race, nothing happens overnight. You just got to keep, you know, one day you wake up and your little thing done blowed up. It'll be all worth it in the end. Just got to be patient. You know? Like, say, for instance, if you wanted to start a channel and you don't think that you are good enough, you, you, you're not going to, uh, I ain't going to say that. Listen, some people blow up overnight, some people don't. But however, you need to put the practice in, right? And by the time your channel take off, you'll be banging. Be out of this world. Yeah, this is like what I'm talking about right here. Work through it. Now, this is on magic. And that heel, all that, it told you to take all that pain, weave it together. Yeah, look at the thorns right there on that. All that is going to be your magic. Yeah, this is seven to the eight. Seven to the eight. That's what's going on here, boo. And this is a new beginning. That death and that rebirth, that spiritual growth, all that conflict, all that you went through. It's going to be your magic. Right there. Look at that. You got the six, the seven, and the eight of pentacles right here showing up with the ace again. All over again. Yeah, boo. You gonna do it. There you go. Now you got the two of cups to the three of cups. And whatever this balance is and whatever this discomfort is and whatever this is that you're not going to be afraid to sing in regards to, you're going to be celebrating something. And look at that. With all that pain, I told you, it's going to bring in the victory. All that shadow self. 
you're gonna bring it to the light. Now, ain't nobody say you had to uh, divulge all aspects of you. But you know how to pull a story from it, right? You know? Yeah. Everybody got something that they're good at. I keep saying that. It's something that you did. That you just dislike to do. You know what I'm saying? It's like I dislike to uh, rearrange furniture. It's like I dislike to clean up. Like I can get lost in it. Dang. That's what Spirit tell me I need to do. <laughs> what are these days, y'all? What are these days? It's just like it's just something just natural. And I go in the store and I just see all the colors and stuff. I just be like a little girl. With all the colors. Look like you're moving through something that you've been waiting on. That right here that you've been waiting on to take charge of. Yes, it's time for you to get the ball. It's time. Yeah, look, look, look. People might want to write a book about your story. Look at that. Look at that. What is he offering? Somebody's offering something to all this pain. With this on the other side of it. Ten, ten. Somebody going to love you just the way you are, even despite all the pain that you went through? Is that what that's saying? I still love you. I don't care what you've been through, but they still love you. Look at that. I'm saying that. They still love you. Look at that. They still love you. They don't care. They tell you to leave it behind. Look at that. You're walking away from all that confusion, the devil, and all that. You're walking away. Something is about to get you paid. Just got to take that leap of faith. Or keep doing what you're doing or going after what you're going after. Ain't nobody said it was going to happen overnight. You just got to keep putting one foot in front of the other. Like the uh, little, um, <laughs> and now I'm going back to my childhood. And remember the uh, Rudolph the Red Nose Brain done? When they was on the misfit eye and in, in, in the heat miser in the uh, cold miser, and they was stuck, and they was trying to teach the uh, uh, cold miser how to walk again because the heat miser had melted. They were talking about put one foot in front of the other, and soon you'll be walking across the floor. <laughs> Wow, I think I've seen that thing about 3,000 times. <laughs> my brother used to call me Heat Miser. And if you think about the cartoon, because the hair was sticking straight up. <laughs> now they hated to comb my hair when I was little. <laughs> he used to call me Heat Miser. <laughs> oh, Lord, I just went back for a minute, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that was too funny. Alright, let me get back to it. I'm sorry, y'all. I know some people don't like when I uh, take things lightly. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, here goes your girl again. She right there on that king. She, the king of the queen of wands is on the ten. Telling me it has something to do with a relationship or your creativity. Something. Now everybody like to work with her. Now you got all these wands down here. Look like you trying, boo. Look, look what's coming though. Mhm. Mm Through healing. 
something about your healing situation is going to bring in something very prosperous. Yeah. Some offer. Somebody might got a story to tell. I said that for a reason. There you go. Came right back there on this. Some type of light bulb. Moment. Somebody's offering you something. We got a lot of offers. There's some type of judgment. Somebody's saying yes to something. Or some decision being made on your behalf. Now, I do see this as a little bit of growth. Both learning. Yeah. 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 Something changing, though. Yeah, and the wheels is turning in your favor. Now, I do see somebody else um, on the end, other end of this thing. Something going drastically wrong in their lives. Now, I really don't hate to say things like that, but it all depends on what they did. Sometimes they deserve it. But! You're going to be all right, boo. You're going to be all right. Now, let me see. Let me see. I think I want these to close it out with. Oh, Spirit told me to do this. I'm going to stop being hard-headed. Okay. Now you have Dorana. I think that's how you see that. But I'm just looking at her head. Look at that. Look at that. And it's almost like you that shadow aspect right in there. Looking into that reflection. And one day I might remember what these cards mean. One day. The more and more I read them. Let me see. What is this? 73. Oh, I turned right to the page. I've been doing that a lot lately, y'all. That's weird. Now it's time to focus your mind on one goal to undergo the transformation that comes from concentration. The birthing process of an ideal takes deep commitment to usher it into life. Through single focus commitment, you will be able to deepen your understanding of your goal and from its core bring it to fruition. This is your time to say no to everything that is not related to your dharma, which is the opposite of karma, where dharma is good. Practice dharma and focus on what is it that you came to this earth to do. Now, we're already saying you in your north mood for a lot of you guys. Now, again, understand that everybody is in a different state of being in this process, and you know who I'm talking to. However, if you're on this channel and you're listening to this message, that it will soon be your time too, and you need to be taking cues from what's being said so that you can get there, boo. All right? Now that is confirmation that you're ready. Focus. You know, took enough cues from some other type of authority figure or somebody with a little bit more experience. Now it's time for you to step up to the plate. How many times did these cards say that you are a leader or a teacher or a healer or something? Listen, okay. That's your message, darling. Now hit that like button. I'll see you on the next one. Bye, you.